but it was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Movie. Wait, um, let me, let me. Ground. And I was like, are, are you okay? And then he just, his back. happened when flower was in my kitchen and she just felt this giant burst of energy and I looked at her I'm like do you feel that she's like yeah I'm like there's definitely something here and then the second occurrence was later that night you know like the cooking stuff like the, it's a glass top you put it on like a steam rice that night we were talking in the kitchen and out of nowhere it just falls off the counter and just shatters everywhere it was really loud and we were like we were just talking about like is this place haunted and then it just shattered and we we're like no more questions <laughs> <laughs> we we're like we're not going to talk about it in this house anymore we have to go outside yeah so we started talking about it outside after that when we go walk the dogs yeah that's like the only time we could talk uh, about it so anyway so after the movies we were feeling just kind of off the entire night and i don't know if it was just because the movies were scary but we were in my room and I'm on my desk it has these metal like brackets brackets and out of nowhere it just falls like nothing around it it just falls straight off we're like we're like oh maybe the dogs bumped it nope no the dogs were like on the other side of the room and it was so loud that uh, his roommate heard it and was like did you guys hear that after we figured out what it finally was because we had no idea what it was it falls again it falls second time we're like okay no more games good night <laughs> <laughs> there was another time we were celebrating downstairs, uh, cleaning the house, uh, getting it ready for some guests to come over. And well, he was helping me upstairs to go to bed and apparently- Okay, let me, I'm gonna take it from here. I'm walking into my room and how my house looks, it goes straight into my room and then there's a hallway for the other rooms. This is a dark hallway and I'm walking with her and she just like stops, looks, down that dark hallway and says hi there and i'm like nope not doing that tonight and i just turn her head right into my room like we're not gonna do that tonight <laughs> just go to bed yeah. uh oh uh. that's not even the worst thing about that story she was doodling in this notebook and i look at that said notebook oh. and guess what it is it's a drawing of her standing at my hallway pointing at a dark figure it's, not me. it's literally that so this next part um i was alone during this experience uh, he was at work and i was on the computer editing some videos and was just working on my stuff he always plays pranks on me all the time when this happened i thought he was playing a prank on me so i'm just gonna like underline it with that the door started opening and slamming opening and slamming opening and slamming if i was to do this like with the door handle like it was just constantly opening and slamming but after like 20 minutes of this going on and the entire time I, the dogs are barking at the door like everything's going off in the house and i'm just like no I'm not buying it you know i'm not buying it you're not gonna scare me lorenzo <laughs> then i finally hear the garage door open the roommate came home i ran downstairs and his his roommate jumped out and scared me and I was like, ah, what are, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, sorry, I thought you were Lorenzo. Is Lorenzo home? And I'm like, I don't know. Is he home? Is he home? Are you home, Lorenzo? And I'm like yelling through their house like, okay, you can come out now. Like, I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. You guys are in on it together. And they even had me um, drop my pen to see exactly where I was at. And they saw yeah, I was I, then who was messing with the door? One of the last like door slams, I started smelling this like rotting disgusting odor uh, so there's another time where it was really really late at night um, I thought that the dog was by my bedside because I heard something shift like the metal bar shift and I thought the dog like climbed through I think a little bit later the Sun came up crypto was like all the way on this side of the room and taco was away so that meant that because I could hear a dog last night on this side of the room and that couldn't have been Taco, then what the heck was right next to me? Kind of like astral projecting and I was speaking with a woman, kind of like if he was laying right here next to me and I was laying right here and we're sleeping and I was just like looking forward and I was speaking with this woman that was right here, like talking to me and in my dream, he was right here next to me and he was in the conversation, but I was mostly talking to this woman and it was like, as if it was my turn to relay something to him and turn to him and talk to him. I woke up in that moment, like she said something to me. I 
took it in and then I woke up and turned at that same exact moment he turned too so, and then turned woke up and I was like wait wait wait, wait I, I was supposed to tell you something but you know, were we like, just dreaming you're like were we just talking and then right at that moment the computer screen glows white and turns on all by itself and oh. we're just both like sitting there <laughs> You forgot about that? No, I remember <laughs> that. The whole room is white. Yeah, the whole room is like, white. My computer's never done that. Yeah, and then Ever. it just powers off by itself, and we're both left sitting there like, I wish I could tell you what I was supposed to tell you because I'm freaked out right yeah. now. <laughs> it was somewhat still for a little bit until I come back, and this house is engulfed, like out of a oh horror movie. Gosh. Out of a horror movie. I'm he texts me like, hey, are you like leaving the door open? There's some flies getting in. And I'm like, no, I'm not really doing anything. He's like, can you buy some fly swatters? I'm like, yeah, sure, uh, no no problem. It's one day we come home and there's just swarms of flies in my kitchen. I mean, swarms. Like, they're everywhere. And we're like, what is happening? We searched everywhere, nothing. These flies came from nowhere. It was like a horror movie, just flies everywhere in the kitchen. Like it was just very ominous. Yeah, it was in the kitchen too where we've had a few occurrences happen. What is For privacy sake, I'm gonna leave out um, my customer's name and uh, who it is, but I had an incident with a customer during that time. It was uh, not too long after the door slamming, actually. He was talking normal, you know, or having normal conversation, and he went from looking forward like this to he kind of like dropped his head like twice, and then he dropped his phone on the ground, and I was like, are, are you okay? And then he just, his back arches, and this noise comes from his throat, like the scariest noise I've ever heard in my life, but it was just like, uh just like uh, like he's locked up and can't move and he, his like back is completely tightened up wait he might be having a seizure that might be happening he like he kind of like snaps out of it and he's like he like kind of like falls like this and he's like I'm so sorry like I I'm sorry for falling asleep I must just be really tired like you did not just fall asleep like I think you either had a seizure or the demons coming out of you um, either way like, we need to get you to the ER as soon as possible, so it's either I'm taking you or I'm calling your family member and one of them are taking you. Whatever's happening, you're going to the ER. I'm not, like, something isn't right. And he came, went to the ER and said that they said his vitals were normal. Everything was normal. And that is just, um, he said that there was no sign of seizure. So now that we've told you guys some of our haunting experience, I would love it if you guys could comment below and let us know what you guys would do in the situation. If you guys had any situations like this before and um, how many of you guys out there are going through something like this right now because when you're in it, it is a very scary thing. Um, I know our minds can get away from us and really like create kind of atmosphere, but we've just been experiencing so many different things that we wanted to reach out and see if anyone else has any answers or any recommendations. Yes, we sage the house. <laughs> yes, we, we've and tried. And I think that made it worse. Uh, so if you guys have any recommendations of what you guys think that we should do, please leave it in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. It's not that easy to just up and leave. Like I always say, they should in horror movies. Learn my lesson, it's not that easy. So please comment below if you guys have any suggestions of what we should be doing. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, we really want to hear your guys' feedback on this because we've been really stumped with the whole situation. And yeah, leaving it on a good note. Um, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Uh, save us. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye guys.